In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create an online quiz website or landing page completely free. And that's with the hosting and linking a custom domain name, all completely free. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Silas Haig, and I share tips and tricks for freelancers or solopreneurs, anyone that's looking to start or grow um, an online business. So quiz pages are really engaging and they're a great way to pre-sell a product or a service. Um, they're great if you're using if you're doing affiliate marketing, maybe using something like ClickBank, you can send traffic from, say, an ad to a quiz page and then from there to the ClickBank product. They're also great if you're just selling any kind of product or service, just great to pre-sell. And they also can help you segment and understand your audience better. If you want to know a bit more about your audience, you can have different questions um, with what you want to know about them and get them to click through the quiz. And they are also great for building an email list um, because it's kind of a psychological principle called gradual commitment. If you're if you encourage someone to just do something as simple as answer a question about something that they're interested in, and if they keep clicking through and answering more and more questions, they're gradually committing to more and more things. And then by the end, you can say, okay, now just enter your email address in exchange for your results. Um, people are much more likely to do that. So there are many ways why Quizlanders are really, really cool. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can make one completely free. So this is in just some new software that I'm using. So first of all, I'm going to show you something that show you an example of what I've created. So you can see that it works quite seamlessly. And then I'm going to get into how to actually do it yourself. So this is just an example of um, a quiz lander that I've done. So this is question four, as you can see. Um, and there's the question. And then here's the answers. And you can just pick any of those and then they all just go through to the next page. So if you just click any any random one of that, it'll take you through to the next page, question five, and then you can keep clicking on through. So um, really handy, as I said before. So I wanna show you how you can do it now completely free. And it's with a software platform called Groove Funnels and Groove Pages. Now, as I said, you can sign up um, to this platform for free, lifetime access. You don't even need to enter your credit card details and you get three websites or funnels or landing pages that you can create for free. And also you can link up to three custom domains for free as well, um, amongst many other really cool things. So um, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Um, I recommend doing it while you can. And um, you'll also get access to my bonuses as well if you get through that link. Now, um, one of the reasons why they're offering such a great deal is because it's still in beta. So as you can see here, there's future Groove funnels. So this is some of the other products that they're coming out with, uh, one of which is Groove Survey, which is kind of what we need. Um, it's gonna be a survey tool or quiz tool, but right now they don't have it. So um, this is kind of my workaround <clears throat> and it works quite well, it's quite seamless, um, but it just takes a little bit more time. You have to build up yourself manually. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to do it. So once you log into your Groove Funnels um, dashboard, just go to Groove Pages and then just click new site and you can just start from scratch. And now, as I said, I'm just gonna show you the how to, how to actually create a um, quiz style series of pages. I'm not gonna focus anything on design. I'll do that in some other videos. Um, so this is just gonna literally just be um, one, one page to link to another uh, in a quiz like format. So I'm gonna walk you through and, and I'm also not going to talk in too much detail about this because there's a lot you can learn, um, but I do have some introductory videos as part of my bonuses, so um, check those out if you want to. So we're going to go into the block section and then wireframes and then click an empty one. And we just want an empty container. Now, actually, just for the purpose of just showing you this, I will do um, a heading. Let's just, that can be the question. And then we want another, um, go into blocks again, wireframes, empty, and we want another empty container. And we'll just drop that there. And then if we click onto elements, now we can drop another container inside that. Now I like to I'll put that in there. Now I like to do containers within containers because it allows you to align elements um, a little bit more seamlessly. Um, sometimes it can be a bit fiddly if you're only doing 
one container. So I like to sometimes put a couple of containers in just because um, then you can do a little bit more with the alignment. So as you can see, there's, if we look at the bottom there, as you can see at the bottom there, the breadcrumbs, um, you've got the block container container. And now within that, we want to add a button. So if we go to elements and then scroll down and you'll just find a solid button here. And now if you click on that, there's the button there. Now what we'll do just to make this easier to see is I'll drag this container and make this container a lot bigger. And then what I wanna do is go to layout still within that container and click vertical. And as you'll see, this button has now gone across the whole container, um, but we don't want it like that. It looks a bit, um, doesn't look so good like that, but we wanna click this one here and then it will center that element within that container. Now, if I duplicate this button, it'll add another one just below it. But again, we want to space these out a bit more. So we go back to that same container. So you can click anywhere. So we click on the button and we're gonna go to that first container. And then we go back to layout. And then the one that I like to use is um, this one, which is like a space in between. It spaces them out with space in between. So then if I duplicate this, it'll also have another button and keep space in between, which is quite cool. So we've got our buttons, we've got our options. And then um, what I wanna do now is just uh, add another page just to show you a second page um, and link the two. So we'll just clone this page and we'll just label this page two. So you're aware, you can see it happening. Save that. And then we wanna go back to page one or home, the home page, not the copy one. And there we wanna link them. So we click on each button and then we click configure. And then we, you can put in any text here. Um, we'll just put option one, but as you said, as, I, as you saw earlier, I had all sorts of uh, answers to each question. So you put yes, no, or a detailed answer. And then you just wanna click link to and click page and then simply click it, link it to the second page, the next page in the quiz. And then just click update and you want to do that for each and every button and then remember to save and publish and now um, what we want to do just for this kind of um, demonstration purposes is i just want to host it um, here um, just quiz example and now this is just hosted <clears throat> under my groove groove funnels um, domain that they give you. So they give everyone one for free. And then if you want to publish it on your own domain, you just got to link your own domain here and then you can publish it on your own site. So I'll just link it with that and hit publish. Now this might take a second or two to publish. So I'll just pause it for a moment. Okay. So if we go to the arrow near publish and we can click on the domain here and it'll take it to the page. Now this is the first page we made, as you can see. And these are all the buttons. And if you can see, if you just click on option one, it'll take you straight to page two. Now that is just the basic framework to show you how you can make a quiz landing page within GrooveFunnels. Obviously that doesn't cover any of the design elements and um, you can create any type of quiz you want with any type of questions um, and some images. You know, you can do a lot more with this. Um, but what I would recommend is that you sign up to GrooveFunnels and get your free access, free lifetime access whilst it's still available. I don't know if it's something they'll offer forever and they're constantly coming out with new um, and updated products and parts of the digital products, um, all really helpful for if you're building any kind of business online. So I really recommend checking it out. So I hope this helped and I'd really encourage you to just get, get in on this platform and have a play around, test it out um, and start making your own quiz landing pages or websites or funnels. Um, and that's it for this video. I hope you have a great day and a great week and I will see you in another video.